This video is going to be an in-depth video on how to assemble the rope ladder steps. We also have a video that shows you some of the features and benefits of our wooden rung rope ladders, which are really great. But if you're somebody that wants to make rope ladder steps yourself, or you have specific spacing between the ladders that you want, or you just prefer a flat step, the rope ladder steps are a really great option. There's something that we can assemble here for you, but you can certainly do it yourself. And this video is going to show you how to do it properly because when you make something like this, there's a few details that you need to keep in mind in order to really make it right and, and look perfect. Um, some of those details I'm going to show you right now, and then we're going to go over to the assembly table and then I'll show you exactly how all those little details come to play and how you do it the right way. But I'll show you right here on this ladder that I just made, um, you can see how all the screw heads are lined up um, in order. It doesn't really matter if they're facing this way or behind you or whatever. The strength is still the same, but from a details perspective, it's always nice to have everything line up. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure is that you don't have the rope twisted on here. So when the rope's coming down vertically, you wanna make sure that there's no twist in the rope that's all lined up perfectly. Um, the other thing, of course, is obvious, but I'll point it out anyway, uh, making sure there's the same gap between the steps and that the uh, level, or that the steps themselves are level. And with rope ladders, you get a little bit of wiggle room on there, maybe 3 16 of an inch on each side where if you put your foot on one side or the other, you can adjust it a little bit. But generally speaking, once you put a little bit of pressure on the middle step and line it up, the goal is to have every step level and equal distant from each other. And that's important. And there's an easy way to do that, and you're gonna see how to do that right now. We're gonna start with our rope ladder, and obviously we're gonna start at the top. A preference of mine is to always make rope ladders with splices at the top. There's a great reason for this. Um, the reason why is because if you have splices at the top of the rope ladder, number one, it's very safe and secure. Number two, and perhaps most importantly in this case, is you're going to get a very precise starting point. And this is critical once we start measuring down the length of the rope to find out where those rope ladder steps are going to be. No matter how long the ladder is, you want to make sure that you have consistent measurements all the way down the length of each side of the rope. And with splices, you can do that. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use splices if you don't want to. You could tie knots on the end of the rope and attach it to whatever you're going to attach it to. However, knots aren't going to be as precise as the splices. So if you want to use knots, you can. It's going to take a little bit more um, trial and error when you attach it to get everything level. But if you can splice yourself, feel free to do that in the rope. If you can't, don't worry. Um, at Knot Rope Supply, we can splice the end of the ropes for you and ship them already pre-made uh, like this with thimbles in there or without. And then you can go ahead and assemble the rope as you're gonna see here in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna to get to the real critical point of making our first measurements on the rope. And this is incredibly important because these are the marks on the rope that we're gonna to use to base everything else off of. So if we get these right, in theory, every rope ladder step that we do after this will be in the right spot and it'll be level, like you saw at the beginning of the video where that rope ladder step has perfectly level rungs all the way up and down the, la the ladder. Um, I'm gonna point out one detail here that is something that we do here at our shop and we put these together because they're very precise and focused on the details. But if you're gonna be using a rope that is spliced, and again, I highly recommend that, um, what I wanna do is make sure that the ropes have the throats of the splice on each side. So what I mean by that is, I don't wanna start it like this, where I have one with the tuck over here and one with the tuck over here. I wanna balance it out and have them both this way. That way it's symmetrical. It's a little thing, but when you're talking about rope work, the details make the difference. And um, here at our shop, we always pay attention to the details. So in this case, I'm gonna lay them together like this. And then at this point, you may wanna get a helper and I'll show you why. So Ben, you wanna come on over here? This is the, uh, the secret on how we do this and get it right from the get-go. I've got uh, just a, a pole here that I've clamped into a vise, but you'll get the concept of what we're doing and how you do it yourself doesn't really matter specifically but the point is we want to apply equal pressure to this so that we can measure down the rope what i want to do is measure in this case for this rope ladder we're going to start our first rung three feet from this point right here so i'm going to get a measuring tape and the famous tool of all rope work and splice the sharpie pen and all i'm going to do is measure from three feet here to this point here. 
and I'm going to mark it. So this is what we're going for, consistent mark on both ropes with equal tension on each one. And you're going to see how that comes into play to level those steps. So now we've got our mark from the top of the thimble here to our three foot on this side. Same thing from the top of the thimble here to our three foot mark on this side. I'm going to search and try to find those red marks. And I know where to look because it's going to be three feet down here and I can clearly see the mark on this rope and the mark on that rope. We know we're three feet, it's balanced, it's perfect, we're ready to go. What we want to do at this stage is make all the rest of the marks for all the rest of the steps. Um, for us, we do that every 12 inches. Obviously, if you're making it yourself at home, you can make the ladder step a little bit further apart, a little bit closer apart if you wanted to. But generally speaking, if you're getting one from us or you see them um, elsewhere, they're going to be about 12 inches between each step. And it's pretty easy to do using a ruler like this, lay it alongside the rope. And this is a hot tip for you. So if you are really um, precise and wanna be doing this the right way, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that our, our lines that we put on here are on the same side of the rope. So imagine if you've got the rope, we don't wanna do marks all the way around it. We just wanna do it in one spot so that the rope clamps that we put on there are all long, are all aligned in one way. That way it looks right. Um, it's the little detail that matters and to me it's important. Here's our first mark. I'm just going to come down 12 inches and make another mark here. Another 12 inches right there. And I just repeat the process moving all the way down the length of the rope. And you can watch me do this as I'm going down every 12 inches. Visually, I'm making sure that these tracer lines are in the same linear plane. So that's gonna help you make sure that you don't have the rope twist thing going on. Another 12 inches right there. And I'll pull this. While I'm doing it, I'm gonna make sure that these tracer lines are all lined up and I'll make sure my mark there lines up. Another 12 inches, put a mark there. Another 12 inches. That's it. So now this rope and this rope have the marks where they need to be so we can come back and put on these steps finally. So we're gonna show you how to do that. At this step, we have our rope, it's ready to go. It's got the marks on here. We know where these ladder steps are gonna go at. Uh, you've got two choices at this stage. You can put all your ladder steps on here at once and, and keep moving them down the rope as you work, or you can do a few at a time. Um, generally, I do a few at a time. It's just less bulk to move around the table. Um, so I've, I'll grab three here. I already got two on, or I've already got one on right now. I'm gonna put two more on, and then we can start installing the uh, the steps it does help to put multiples on at one time because you can start doing stuff like this where you've got two you can hold them together and it just speeds things up a little bit so here we go we're finally getting to the spot where we can get steps on this ladder and um, we're gonna lay it out here Again, getting back to the details and making sure everything looks cool when it's done, I want to find these marks and make sure that there's no twist in the rope, that the splices are laying flat or consistent. Um, I could have them both like this if I wanted to, but what I'm trying to avoid is something where one is like this and one is like that. Quite frankly, this is not going to affect how strong the rope is or how it works if you have one this way and one that way. But again, the details matter. So for me, I wanna make sure that it's consistent. And I've found it easier just to have them lay flat than try to keep them like that. So they're laying flat. We've got the throats of the splices perfect. Everything looks good. The rope's not twisted. And we're finding our first mark here, which we know is three feet down from the top of the thimble to that mark. Perfect. Here is how you put these clamps on here. 
And again, when you get them, they'll look like this. I've already disassembled them, so I've got the screws, I've got the threaded piece, I've got the non-threaded piece, and here we go. It's very easy. Here's our mark, and I'm just gonna lay that rope on the clamp and press down so that it fills that trough in there. And there's little pin pieces in there that will grip the rope. So we're gonna lay it down in the trough, and that red mark is gonna be perfectly aligned with the top of that clamp. That's all we're going for. And the top goes on like this. Um, you'll have a choice at this point if you want to work out your forearms or not. Um, I make a lot of these, so I opt to use a little bit of electrical assistance and use a screw gun. And at this stage in the game, really all you want to do is get the, the screws started in there. You don't need to go all the way and clamp it down at this point. We just want to get them started. In a moment, you'll see why, and I'll show you how to effectively get those clamped together. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. And again, just get them started. You don't need to clamp them down all the way just yet. Now you can see how all this comes together. Those steps rest on there. It's a pretty cool system. Um, we're gonna move on to the next one. And another hot tip for you, make sure that you get your ladder step above this point before you put your clamps down here. Everyone will make that mistake once. Don't feel bad. That's how you learn. So with the second step, I know that my red mark is going to be on the top. That's where I want it to be. We don't want to twist it. We just want to keep it right on top and maintain that consistency all the way down. If you do that, everything will be in place and aligned. Since this video is all about the details and all the hot tips on making these things look perfect and correct, I'll point out one thing to you here that you'll see um, with these steps. Because this is a, a plastic material, they're made in a die, and you'll see some of the trim flashing marks on here. If you really want to be super attentive to detail, you'll make sure that these are all aligned one way. For instance, if I was to take this one and so here you can see the trim flashing. This is the last step I need to put on here. If I put it on this way and you zoom in on that detail, you can see how we've got that flashing here, 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 not on this one. But if we were to flip that over, you'd see where it's at. So because I'm paying attention to detail, I'm going to put that all on one side. It's a small thing. And again, I'll stress you could have it this way or this way, and it will not affect anything on how effective these rope ladder steps will be. But if you're watching this video and you want to pay attention to detail, there's a hot tip for you. At the end of the ropes, um, it really, really helps. And if you order them from us and we splice it, they'll come this way anyway, but I'll point it out just in case. Tape the ends or heat seal them somehow, because if you don't, it'll be all frayed out. It'll, it'll be a little messy and it'll be incredibly difficult to run that through these steps. It'll just blow out and it'll get caught in there. But if you have it taped, it makes it a lot easier to feed the end of the rope through your steps. Um, this ladder step that we're making here is 15 feet. Um, if yours is longer or shorter, especially if it's longer, you'll appreciate this tip. 
One other thing I'll mention to you, just make sure that you do indeed have the top of the step up there. You don't want to be the guy that puts it on like this because then when you put it together, that's what you're going to see on the top and it won't work because those pieces won't go in there. So just make sure you have the top of the step facing up. So all that hard work is finally paying off. We are getting what resembles a rope ladder and soon we'll be the proud owner of a uh, custom assembled rope ladder. The step that we want to address now, uh, as you saw earlier, I just lightly tighten these screws just enough to hold that clamp in place. We really want to draw that in and make sure that these two pieces come together as close as they can. Um, the, the option or the thing that we do here in our shop is we just put them together with pressure from a vise. If you don't have a vise, you could use something like vise grips, but we just want to press that together. Um, having a, the vise grips like that, it's kind of a three-handed job. This way, putting in the vise, it, it affords me a few advantages. Number one, it keeps the rope vertical, which I like. That way it's not gonna tilt to one side and get pinched in that, in that seam. We want it nice and straight. The other thing is it'll hold it for me and I can visually make sure that it's coming together, everything looks good, and then it's just a matter of um, giving the screws the final tightening. And you want them snug on there. You don't have to power drive it in and really torque them down a lot. You don't want to do that. By design, these are brass threads in there. So if you give it too much power, you'll strip those out and you'll have to go back and start over again. You just want to give it a nice snug um, tightening. And then you can see that that comes together very, very well. And as you'll see here in a moment, we'll fit in there like so. And then it's just a matter of going down the whole ladder and repeating the process over and over again. So making sure the, the rope is vertical, not getting pinched on either side, snug it up in the vise. We have finally reached the end, literally the end of the rope ladder. We've got all the clamps put on there, all the steps are in place. I'm going to measure three inches from the bottom of this clamp to the end of the rope and make a mark, which I've already done on this side. And now we're going to install rope ends because these rope ladders are all about the details and having nice finished ends is a nice detail to finish it up. If you do not have one of these cool tools called the hot knife cutter, you should buy one from us. Just kidding. If you only need to do one or two of these, uh, you can tape the end of the rope and use a flame sore or something hot and you can melt the ends of the rope, um, which will come in handy to do the rope ends. This is a half inch size rope end, even though this is 7 16 rope, it'll work just fine. There's little flutes on here, so when you push that on and twist it clockwise, it'll actually thread a little bit onto that rope. The end is hot knife cut and you can get it started a little bit with your fingers. Come back with a screwdriver, crank that on. The screw goes in there, flares it out a little bit and holds that on securely. So now you have a nice finished end. So here we go. This is the final project, the final product. And if you don't have a forklift at your house or your shop, that's okay. You could lay this out on the ground as well and inspect it to make sure that everything is in line and everything's level. And in this case it is using those details I told you about, you can get a really good finished product like this. Uh, there's a little bit of labor involved understandably, but it's not anything that you can't do uh, with the right tools and a little bit of time. It, everything came together, looks great. I'm happy with the outcome of this project. And that is how you put together the rope ladder steps that we sell here at Not Rope Supply. If you have further questions, you can obviously give us a call here at our shop, which is 419-873-8300. Thanks so much.